Student loans, credit cards, mortgages, car payments, insurance. Americans have been trapped by their own financial system into a life of bondage. Our time is served in a cubicle at an office. We go from a TV screen at home to a cell phone screen in the car to a computer screen back at the office. A life that we are unable to feel is unfolding in the form of images that are not even real. We know something is wrong. We just can't seem to articulate what it is. We are starting to question the costs and time, the hours of our life that are traded away in an effort to pay for it all. There appears to be a genuine interest in a life that is not dominated by debt, laboring away to meet the expense of a suburban home and the mind-numbing commute that comes with it, but never earning and accumulating enough to buy our freedom before it is too late. Simple living, freedom, self-sufficiency. The web is filled with the postings of dreamers searching for an original model for an alternative lifestyle. And yet, there are hundreds of thousands of people across America right now that have succeeded at this for generations. We began our homesteading adventure 10 years ago. For the first three years, we truly struggled. Then a chance meeting seven years ago with a family that had been doing this for generations helped us to understand the adjustments we needed to make to succeed in this manner of living. Success did not require us to go off-grid or to give up all of our modern conveniences, but it did require us to think for ourselves and to measure the actual costs of our conveniences against the perceived benefits. Because the homesteading lifestyle as a concept and ideal is so dominant in our media, I think it's clear that many people are in search of a different living arrangement. They just don't know how to get from there to here. But it can be done. There are hundreds of thousands of people thriving on homesteads throughout North America, enjoying peace of mind rather than the stress of debt. Completely outside of the American suburban model of living, you know them as the Amish, Old Order Mennonites, Uterites, and Quakers. They refer to themselves as the Plain People. And over the centuries, the Plain People have developed a model for living that they use to guide their young people so that they will be able to continue to live as their ancestors have lived for generations, without becoming trapped as a debt and salary slave. And yet, despite their overwhelming success, the most popular books, internet video channels, and blogs on homesteading seem to feature people that have little practical experience. People that are literally just starting out and are trying to reinvent the homesteading wheel, but there is no need to reinvent anything. There exists a simple, tried, and true model that has succeeded by every measure for thousands of families for a dozen generations right here in America. A number of documentaries have been made about the plain people and their lifestyle. These always seem to focus on the feel-good aspects of their lives. None of these have examined the home and family economic strategies employed by these people that permit them to maintain this manner of living, generation after generation. In the series, I will examine the economic and personal strategies of the plain people that we adopted, along with the surreal pleasures and very real challenges that this manner of living has to offer. All of the music in this production was composed, performed, and recorded by Masako Yamashita here at Freesong Farm. <laughs>